Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem. Let's feel the presence of our Lord with this opening prayer. Whatever. 
the region one him from the mountains and the rivers to the plains and winding trails to the shores where breezes linger that's the place i love so well it's the home Give me safe and happy as I live on day by day. Till to other lands I wander as I search for wealth and fame. In my heart I will remember Region 1, beloved. Let's sing together the Pangasinan hymn. And now let's sing our SD1 Pangasinan hymn. Oh! 
At this juncture, let's hear the opening remarks and message of our school head, no less than Madam Josephine L. Zara. It is with utmost joy and pride to congratulate you graduates and completers of Batangkawa South Elementary School on your virtual graduation school year 2020-2021 with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Today is a significant and memorable occasion for you graduates and completers as this mark the milestone of your educational achievement. Despite this very challenging school year, because of this unprecedented health crisis, you remain strong. This pandemic didn't stop you from pursuing your studies. This is just an indication that nobody and nothing can stop you achieving your dreams and aspirations. Carry this kind of spirit as you pursue your higher education. Keep on achieving your goal. Spread your wings and keep soaring high. Because if you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. Always remember, according to Eleanor Roosevelt, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Your alma mater is with you in every step of the way. To the proud parents, congratulations for your undoubtable love and sacrifices. I salute you for your hard work and perseverance and continue being an inspiration to your children. Caps off to you. To the teachers, you are the frontline soldiers in this educational battlefield. 
you deserve to be appreciated. Despite of this new normal setup, you still did your best to deliver the quality education to your pupils. Job well done. Thank you. And again, congratulations, Batch 2021. We come now to the presentation of candidates for graduation. Let's all welcome Madam Marietta C. Macalanda, Grade 6 Advisor. Ma'am, I have the honor to present to you the 18 candidates for graduation, of which are 11 boys and 7 girls, who have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the K-12 basic education program for elementary, as prescribed by the Department of Education. And may I request that they will be certified and proclaimed graduates of Batangkawa South Elementary School this is school year 2020-2021. This is to certify that these candidates for graduation of Batangkawa South Elementary School for this school year have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the K-12 basic education program for elementary as mandated by the Department of Education and may I request that they will be accepted and confirmed graduates. Confirmation and acceptance of the graduates. On the basis of the certification of your advisor that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements of the K-12 basic education program for elementary prescribed by the Department of Education. And by virtue of the authority vested in me as your school head, I now accept and confirm you graduates of Batangkawa South Elementary School for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations to you and to your proud parents. Let's hear some inspirational messages. Let's hear the message coming from the Secretary of the Department of Education, no less than Leonor Magdolis Briones. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination 
exercise. So congratulations because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down 
and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker of course is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that are that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, 
and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity the door which will help you know more about this world and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do, God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Message coming from our regional director. Let's all be inspired by the message coming from our OIC superintendent, none other than Dr. Eli S. Obaldo. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. Lubos ang aking kagalakan na makapagbigay ng mensahe sa inyo Mahal naming mga magulang, guro, punong guro, at higit sa lahat, sa inyo, ating mga completers at graduates mula sa kindergarten, grade 6, grade 10, grade 12, at sa ating learners from the alternative learning system na pumasa sa portfolio assessment. Ang tema ng ating End of School Year Rights ay kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. 
Ang pandemyang dulot ng COVID-19 ang nagudyok sa lahat ng educational leaders na gumawa ng mga tough choices sa gitna ng tanong, paano mapapangalagaan ang kaligtasan ng mga guro at paano may hahatid ang edukasyon sa mga mag-aaral. Ayon nga kay Secretary Briones, education must continue even in times of crisis. Sa pagtutulungan nga ng mga magulang, mag-aaral, kaguruan at stakeholders na itawid natin ang school year 2020-2021. Tunay ngang napakalaga ng ating selebrasyon ng school year 2020-2021 because for the first time in history, the school and home have finally touched base together for a common aspiration. Nagpapatunay na malaki ang bahagi ng parental involvement sa academic achievement ng isang mag-aaral. As parents and teachers work together to address our children's needs, we're able to form a formidable team to combat ignorance and keep relevant values that every home and society cherish. Batid ko ang inyong mga pasakit at pinagdaanan Maitawid lamang ang inyong pag-aaral. Mental stress, dala ng independent learning, unstable internet connectivity, problema sa kahirapan ng buhay. Ngunit lahat ng ito ay napagtagumpayan ninyo. Ang inyong ipinakitang tibay ay kamanghamangha. Ito ay nagpapakita ng katatagan ng ating mga mag-aaral. Lastly, gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, please appreciate your parents. To be a good father and mother requires that the parents defer many of their own needs and desires in favor of the needs of their children. You never know what sacrifices they went through for you. Respect your teachers. Teachers spend most of their nights planning, most of their mornings explaining, most of their afternoons correcting, most of their years encouraging, most of their lives stressing what matters most in life, and it's all for your future. So don't make their jobs more difficult. Congratulations to you, our precious children, parents, teachers, and school heads for continuously making the flames of education burn amidst the darkness of these times. Babuhay! Another message coming from the Office of the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent. Madam Maria Griselda G. Okang. Another message and challenging words coming from our public schools district supervisor. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Longino D. Ferrer. Our very own Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Ellie S. Obaldo. Two of our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Josdado Aykayabyab and Dr. Maria Criselda Okang. School Administrator, faculty and staff who have passionately and committedly exerted extraordinary services and efforts this school year equally supportive and dedicated parents who have sacrificed so much to better make this school year worth noted of its cost. Our pupils and students who brave hard with the challenges of this year's learning and for their untiring battle to continue education. 
to each and every one of us, we all did a great job. Our undying struggle is undeniably evident as this school year 2020-2021 tests the toughest of our plight. We have fought a good fight until today and the torch of wisdom continuously sheds its light in bringing hope that education stays in the limelight despite what the whole nation has gone through with the COVID-19 pandemic. Our commencement exercises today is a denouement of our endless perseverance and that we're now certain we have triumphs to celebrate. This year's theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic, bespeaks of the Department of Education's unwavering hope that with our sacrifices, our unfailing cravings for knowledge and wisdom, we have stood still and rewarded this date. We have pushed more than enough and stepped up from our boundaries in order to deliver quality education for all, and we all did. I can see how our learners today, the joy of achieving and completing all their prerequisites. I can feel how each and every parent awesomely sigh upon making it really happen this year. I can honestly discern too that all our teachers are overwhelmed that we have come to reap the hardships of what we have sowed. Indeed, today we thank God that we have stand our grounds until the end. It was truly a happy graduation day. All this only showed that with high hopes and spirit, whatever comes ahead of us again, for as long as we believe in its sense, we will because we can. We will continuously do our part and support each other, and we can do it even better again and again. Let us all give ourselves a round of resounding applause and congratulations, Batch 2020-2021. J.J. B. Avalos, son of Mr. and Mrs. Junisio A. Avalos. Joey Boy G. Avalos, son of Mr. and Mrs. Joey R. Avalos. Marky C. Custodio, son of Mr. and Mrs. Francisco C. Custodio. Jensen G. The Queen, son of Mr. and Mrs. Robert J. The Queen. Jonar A. Dorian, son of Mr. and Mrs. Frederick S. Dorian. 
Jeric D. Garcia, son of Mr. and Mrs. Felicia A. Garcia. Marvin Mark A. Morales, son of Mr. and Mrs. Abraham S. Morales. Generals are the studio, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Demetrio D. The studio Jr. Juana D. De Guzman, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Julian G. De Guzman. Maria O. G. De Guzman, Queen of Honors, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Enrique A. De Guzman. Jane Rochelle S. Payuma, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Aurelio F. Payuma. Rochelle C. Villagas, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Congratulations!